there, Eastfield. Welcome back from a nice long winter break. It's great to see that you're all so excited to be back in school. We hope you didn't miss seeing us too much. But to make up for it, we have three great stories that will get you right back into the loop. Our first story revolves around the Black Lives Matter protests that occurred at the Mall of America. Alan went to get the scoop on the Rotunda demonstration. The people of the Mall of America were protesting on um, Black Lives Matter, which is pretty much standing up against police brutality, against mainly black bodies, but really overall just for anyone facing police brutality. 2014 was a year of turbulent change in America, especially for those who have been victims of police brutality. Peaceful protests have sprung up in order to combat the injustice dealt to the American people. It's hard to imagine something so drastic and historic happening so close to home, but one ECU senior, Samaya Mawalin, was present and a part of the protest at the Mall of America. Um, I was a part of a pro I was part of the protest by just being a body that was there. I was there to chant and have my voice also be heard. Over 3,000 protesters, including store employees and religious officials, made their voices heard against the threat of arrest. It was very peaceful. No one really goes out to like, no one goes out with like the state of mind to like wreck anyone. Oppression still exists in America, but with the knowledge and fortitude of young people, these changes can lead to understanding and equality. So stay in the know, Eastview. Signing off the flash, this is Alan. The MOA seems to be a popular place for activities. I agree. From protests to cold days, the mall can be the place to be. As many of you might know, in local news, the weather's been frigidly cold, causing a day of school closures all over the area. Jillian went out to find more about this erratic weather. I am cold as heck, and it's very cold, and like my face is cold right now, and I don't want to be out here. Minnesota cold streaks can be miserable, and whether or not they are severe enough to call off school is a polarizing decision. If the National Weather Service said that it was going to be over 20 below zero with normal temperature and uh, with the wind chill of over 40 below, it's a very simple answer because that becomes a very dangerous situation for, for students. But from there, looking at what makes sense for kids, safety, and learning. I know the scholars at East U High School are thrilled to be back at school now and uh, don't even want a snow day. Whether students wanted it or not, they sure got one. And a flurry of concerns from one Eastview student may have impacted the district's action. I heard that there was like a negative 30 wind chill and it was going to be like negative 15 degrees. And I sent an email to Superintendent Barron's and she sent me a response saying that she would announce the decision on Monday morning, but I did not receive a call. So here I am on Monday morning. And then I realized that Wednesday was going to be even colder, so Tuesday morning I sent her another email. While students tend to enjoy days off, others respond more icily. When we have stopped school, occasionally there's been some people criticized because um, all of a sudden we have lots of kids out at the Mall of America and other kids that are out at Buck Hill or something like that. No matter what decision is made, there's going to be people that, people that question it either way. No matter how you feel cancellations are a tougher decision than bundling up. It shows that the superintendent does care about each and every one of us at the district. Hopefully you enjoyed the unexpected cancellation because the odds of it happening again are a snowball's chance. Shivering off for the flash, this is Jillian. I don't know how to throw. You know what I like about no school days? Not having to ask permission to use the bathroom. I know the feeling. Have you ever had to use the bathroom at school but decided to wait it out because the pass is embarrassing or awkward to carry around? Well, that's exactly what Andre went looking for. He found how teachers all over the school find a way to personalize their students' hallway experience. Bathroom passes at ECU have developed into something more than just a sheet of paper. For example, Ms. Dye has her students carry around an old CD. Many teachers also use unconventional hall passes as well, just like Ms. Dye. Mr. Thompson makes us carry around this wood stick wherever we go. I got this boring pass from Ms. Hayter, and I'm not a big fan of it. I think the, fun, the more fun they are, the better pass it is. Kind of livens up the bathroom days. I mean, our pass is strictly our student main artwork that people have left behind over the past years. Uh, we use them because they're more convenient and they're a little bit more fun than a normal handwritten pass. In AP Psychology, students are even given a pass in which reflects on what they learn. And unlike any other pass, Sharp uses his knowledge of anatomy to find a perfectly half skull that he allows his students to carry around with him. Signing off for the flash, this is Andre. It's true. I do just hold it so that I don't have to carry around some of those weird passes. Well, you don't have to be embarrassed anymore. True. But you know what is embarrassing? What? 
the type of music some people choose to listen to in their car. Like who? Stay tuned for the credit these for you. Shotgun! Good job, Terry. Bro. The ox is yours. Okay. Okay. Wait, Terry. Terry. Hey, hey, wait. Do you know uh, you know the rules of the ox cord? Okay, guys. How's this? Look at this. Bro, what? Rule number one: Don't ever bump Nickelback. Never bump ever. Nickelback. Past the ox. Long so last so to a woman so hot. Rule number two, the Kanye to hour ratio must be at a minimum four to one. How could you be so hot? What 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 Alright what no what all right no rule yeah. number three Macklemore is an immediate life disqualification past the ox cord can't do Macklemore This is not to get confused This one's for you Baby you my head you are Wait rule four an emotional Drake song gets you a 30 minute penalty oh. Right Okay I get it again Guys, this song bombs. Listen. Mixtape's got a little hang, little drink, a little some. Terry, absolutely no country music of any kind. Get in the trunk now. Yep. Peter, pull the car over trunk. right now. He's getting in the trunk. <sighs> Terry, can't believe you're playing country music. Get in the trunk. Oh, get in the trunk. Get in there. I hate. 